What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you a plugin called Toggle Term. So if you're following along with the From Scratch series, you can check out the Branch 16 Toggle Term and you'll have all the code that you see in this video. If you're using your own NeoVim config, then you can still check out this repository and get all of the code from there. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let me show you what this, uh, what you're gonna get out of this plugin and then I'll show you uh, how to install it and configure it. All right, so we're just gonna press control and backslash and we're gonna get a nice big floating terminal here um, that we can do terminal stuff in. So basically anything you want and we can toggle it on and off like uh, just with control backslash like this. And you can use any uh, command that you want to turn it on and off, but I recommend you use like control backslash or T or something like that. Um, just because of, uh, like don't use a leader command is what I, is basically my point. Because when you're in that terminal context, I think it's better that you don't really uh, be in escape mode too often. That's just something I found while using it, so yeah. Anyway, so that's basically toggling it floating. So let's talk about a couple other cool things that you can do. Um, let's, uh, let's, I guess, before I show you those, because they're kind of built into the configuration, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to install it and then we'll, we'll, we'll show you a, a few other cool things that you can do with the configuration. All right, so what we're gonna do is go and open our plugins list um, and just install toggle term the way you would any other plugin. I'm using Packer. Um, so basically, yeah, just add it to your plugins list and install it. And then we're gonna go check out our file here. It's under Lua user toggle term. And this is the configuration that I have. So this is the size. My open map is uh, control backslash, like you saw earlier. You can change this to like control T or something like that if you want to. Just uh, make sure whatever you're changing it to, you're okay with remapping potentially some command that's already in, uh, already in NeoVim. Hide numbers, basically you don't want numbers in there. And yeah, so there's basically all these uh, things that you can do. Another interesting one is uh, the direction. So if we do something like horizontal like that, and then if I quit out of here and now I do toggle term, you can see that it opens down there at the bottom, right? So that's something that's pretty neat. Um, another one would be uh, vertical vertical like that okay and now when i do it it opens over there but 20 is a little bit too small for it so you probably want to change the size if you're going to be using the vertical one so for instance you would just come in here and what is a good size let's see potentially something like uh, 80 might be good there you go so now you can see that we got this nice vertical split here and we can toggle it on and off. So maybe you like that better than the floating or maybe the horizontal. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with uh, floating for now. I don't know what that was there. I'm gonna stick with uh, floating for now. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you some other cool commands that you'll be able to do with it. Okay, so now I, what I have set up down here, and really here is just some commands that let you move between uh, the terminal and some other, some other windows or something like that. So you can basically uh, copy some of this stuff over if you want it. Um, I recommend doing it this way only because control backslash is kind of used with terminal movements, like moving in between windows. And so like what'll happen if you don't have them set this way uh, with this auto command here? is they will uh, they will close the terminal when you kind of like navigate out of it. So this is how I recommend setting that up if you wanna use control backslash as the thing that opens up your terminal. All right, and uh, basically what that means is, let, let's take a look really fast. So if I do this, and then if I wanna move back to here, I guess that automatically closes it for float, but it shouldn't for, um, because I guess it wouldn't make sense for it to be open for float. But like for horizontal, and then if we open one up and then we move up, you see we can move in between the two, just like that. So yeah. All right, so now let me swap that back to float, come back in here. And now let's take a look at some other cool things that you can do with this. So let's take a look at one that I have built in that's called lazy git. And I use this pretty much for um, 
and you actually have to call it like a function. So you can see I created this uh, this global function here called lazy git toggle. The reason it's all uppercase is um, because anything global in Lua, it'll complain if it's not uppercase. It's just like a small thing. It doesn't really matter, but that's why I made it all uppercase. But if we do that, you can see that now we have lazy git, and this is where I do most of my git stuff inside of, inside of NeoVim. Uh, we could also do something like a node toggle if you're a JavaScript developer and you want to just quick access to node and you can bind this to key bindings, right? So you wouldn't necessarily, um, you know, put that in down there as a command every single time. You would probably, you know, do something like it added to its own key bind. Um, let's do another couple here. So we have htop toggle. And we can get HTOP, so maybe like you're worried that your RAM is kind of using too much RAM with some particular process or something like that, so you can do this. Uh, what about Python, if you're a Python developer? So we'll do Python toggle like that. There you go, and now we have the Python uh, interactive uh, REPL here. Okay, and I thought I had another one. Oh yeah, ncdu is just kind of another uh, command that I think is pretty useful. So if you're just worried about like what file is the biggest in your particular, uh, in the directory that you're in. So we could do ncdu toggle. All right, and now you can see like for instance, .git has the biggest presence here, right? And this is just something, yeah, that's just kind of nice. All right, and so that's what I think toggle term is mostly cool for. You can kind of change a few other options like the border, um, a few other things. If you want to bind different uh, commands, you could do th something like you could do, like if you wanted to bind, if you wanted to be able to open things horizontally, and you wanted the normal toggle, and you wanted to be able to, able to open up things uh, vertically, you would bind something to other keys that would look something like this. So you could do toggle term like that. I think we could auto complete, yeah, and then we could do. Uh, direction equals and then we could do horizontal and then let's see size equals 10 right and so that's how we could you could bind that to some key and then you could do that that way um, the other thing that we could do and now I'm kind of stuck in here so let's uh, what's the best way to I guess get out of this oh yeah it would just be to toggle it with a normal thing so once you open up a different type of window, that'll be the one you're toggling, right? So now that we've done that, every single time I press control backslash, it's gonna toggle the last type of terminal that I opened up. So if we wanted to open up another float one, we would just do float here, right? And now I can toggle it on and off like this. Okay, yeah, so that's basically it. That's kind of all I really wanted to show with toggle term. I just kind of like it. It's really useful for me to just turn on and off a terminal. Uh, this is my preferred way of really using terminals. I kind of usually don't like the horizontal one because it just kind of takes up space and I'm only really using a terminal when I'm like using it and paying attention to it. A lot of the time I just kind of want it to show up and then just show up when I need it and disappear when I don't, right? But some people, I think, you know, they kind of enjoy this. All right. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you're enjoying the series and you can sponsor the project over on GitHub or support me on Patreon, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.